Hi, it's Alexis Hasselberger here, Time Management and Productivity Coach. And today I want to talk about digital filing. If your desktop looks like, you know, basically the digital version of a basement, you've just thrown everything in there, you know, box got filled up, you didn't label it, you just put it over in the corner, and now you're having a lot of trouble finding things when you need them. I want to talk about a simple process that you can use to, you know, get to what we call desktop zero, and then kind of stay there so that it doesn't take us a lot of time to search for the files that we have, and that we're not, you know, cluttering up our desktop and all getting notifications that we need to, you know, remove things, etc. So the first thing that we want to do if we want to take control is really just kind of take stock of what we've got. You know, we may not want to spend hours and hours going through, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of files that are literally just in our downloads right now, and that's okay. We're just going to pick a date in the past. We're going to say everything before that date, we're just going to put it into an old files folder, and we're just not going to worry about it. We're not going to look at it. It's there if we need it. We didn't delete it, and we're not going to spend too much time on it. Then what we wanna do is take everything else, hopefully it's some reasonable amount of things, and actually look through them, right? They're probably more recent, right? Since you've archived everything prior to a certain date. And so you are gonna be able to say, yes, I need this, no, I don't, trash it if you don't. If you do need it, then rename it as something that actually makes sense to you and file it in the right place. Now, on an ongoing basis, how do we just take control of the fact that we're downloading things all the time, we're taking screenshots, and you know, at the end of the week, there can be you know, 50, 100 new files that have landed on our computer somehow. So what do we do about that? I think it's easiest to have a weekly process for handling these files. It takes about 10 minutes of time, but it will save you so much time in the long run because you'll get, be getting rid of the stuff you don't need and you'll be making sure that the stuff that you do need, you can find it easily. So I always recommend using some sort of cloud-based storage because uh, then you don't have to worry so much about losing it and it's not you know, taking up space on our computer. But essentially what we wanna do is this. At the end of the week, you want to do a couple of things. One, look at all those screenshots that you've taken. If you need any of them, usually we don't need very many of them. They were taken in the moment to show somebody something, et cetera, just trash them. If you do need them, some of them you did need, rename them something that makes sense. Now, you might have things in your downloads folder. Again, go look at your downloads folder. Anything you don't need, throw it in the trash. Anything you do need, rename it something that makes sense to you, and then file it wherever it needs to go. You don't need to have a big filing naming structure um, if you don't use it, right? If you're just a searcher, don't create a complex file structure, but just get it off of your desktop. And then at the end of this little mini filing process every week, you want to empty the trash, right? We don't want to be keeping stuff there that we might you know, think we need better. Just empty it all. And this way, you'll constantly be making sure that you are looking at the things that are there, deciding what you want to keep, trashing everything else, and then emptying the trash. This takes about 10 minutes a week. I tend to do it on Fridays when I'm planning for the next week. You could do it whenever you want, but see if that works for you. Just spend 10 minutes a week dealing with the digital clutter that has accumulated and see how much more you, you know, calm you, you feel when you've gotten rid of that digital clutter and also how much easier it is to find the things that you're looking for. So I hope this tip helps. Uh, let me know if it's something that you try or if you have a different way of handling all of this uh, that I might want to know about. Thanks. Hey, it's always. I'm just here to tell you to like and subscribe, it would be a big help. And sometimes YouTube unsubscribes you and also only 1.6 of you guys are actually subscribed. So if you could just check if you're subscribed, it would be a big help. Thanks.